Hi, today I'm going to give you 5 tips for creating good ambient guitar music. Ambient guitar music is getting popular lately with all these folks coming home after a hard day of working and they want just something relaxing. They don't want to play like with fast lines and stuff, they just want to play and plunge themselves into the ambience. As a base of my sound, I'm going to use the Kemper, which you see in a, over there, which is set to the Deluxe Reverb uh, profile, which is neutral, no effects. So tip number one, put delay after the reverb. And like this, your delay is repeating the reverb tail. This creates kind of endless journey. It sounds like this. You can hear how it swirls, just repeats itself all the time. So even with the spring reverb it does well. So imagine you can put a hall or room reverb, then the result is gonna be even more amazing. The trick is always to put the reverb's tail on the max. So like create a really long tail, so the delay is going to repeat all these parts of this tail uh, over and over again. Tip number two, modulation after delay. Imagine you have a delay which is running over and over and over again, and you have a modulation kind of wah pedal, for example. With, using this wah pedal, you can actually filter, use it like a filter for the delay tail, and create like a uh, 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 like a this kind of warping sound, which is quite beautiful. Sounds like this. Isn't it beautiful? Tip number three, use microbands to create this kind of effects of playing an Eastern instrument, like a koto, a Japanese koto, all this kind of stuff. Like. like Eric Johnson uh, was using kind of koto technique, which is kind of, you know, tapping and when you release it, just microband the string. Tip number four, use harmonics. It can be cascading harmonics. Or it can be so-called suspended harmonics, which are integrating into your melody. Number five, which is my like personal tip, which I discovered over the years of making the ambient music, is use slow melodies. Because ambient music, it's not really music which uh, is, uh, brings you to a rush. So um, you have to kind of find a beautiful melody which complements the chord that you play. repetitive and slow notes, they like calm you down and uh, like bring peace to the mind. Okay, let me give you some bonus tip. Creatively use your VSTs. Instead of spending hundreds and hundreds of whatever currency you are in, you know, like a good delay like from, um, let's say, Eventize, 
will easily set you back one thousand dollars, which is um, you know quite a lot of money if you're not going to use it live. Just use VSTs. You have so many plugins, so good ones. For example, uh, for delay, I use uh, Fab Filter Timeless, which has lots of presets for very good delays, like rhythmic and some kind of morphing. And I mean, it's a lot of things you might find in Strime on um, floor units, but they cost way more than ever. And you have a nice graphical user interface, which you can synchronize with your tempo. If you change your tempo, you don't have to re-record everything. So um, I might do a special video for using VSTs as a guitarist and I'll give you some more tips on uh, which plugins I use and I personally incorporate into my music. So stay tuned and see you next time. Bye bye.